Okay, so I, I don't recall who asked for this, but I thought I'd do this quick demonstration. It's really super simple. Uh, it has to do with using alcohol inks, in this case the uh, pinata. We're gonna try the sun bright yellow. I don't think I've ever tried yellow. We'll see how it works on here. And uh, this is just going on some uh, eight, three millimeter birch. And so basically, uh, I should have grabbed a screwdriver here. There we go. We're gonna use uh, denatured alcohol. I, I love denatured alcohol. I use it a lot as a cleaner, uh, as a solvent. Uh, it just does a lot of good things. So I'm gonna put, and I kinda know this part from experience. I don't know. If you can see that, I'm gonna put about that much alcohol in this uh, cup here. Now, before you open your dyes, you definitely want uh, to put on some gloves because these alcohol dyes, they are definitely dyes, all right? They are very color fast. They work great. Uh, okay, so here we go. So now I'm just gonna shake that up a little bit. I don't think you really have to shake, but I'm gonna shake it anyway. And you know, I'm just gonna put in there till I get a really solid color. Whatever I end up in this jar, it's gonna be weaker once I spread it out on the, on the, I say jar, this glass here, it's gonna be weaker once I get it on the wood. I'm hoping to get kind of a vibrant yellow on my wood here. So I've also got some of these platforms here, these little triangles, you can use anything. I've got some homemade ones I made with uh, just like one inch squares with a drywall screw in it. Uh, but that's just, uh, so I can dye both sides, flip, you know, flip it over and it'll be suspended. Uh, the other nice thing about that is it'll allow both sides to dry. You do want to, I found when, when staining or, or doing any kind of paint or stain on this three millimeter stuff, if it's any kind of a wet stain, like an oil-based stain or something like this, uh, I usually stain both sides. And the reason for that is this three millimeter, it's just, you know, it's thin. So it, it warps a lot if you only stain one side. Uh, so rather than, uh, you, you can work around that, you know, stain one side, it warps, it's gonna do it. Uh, you can use hold downs and things like that, but I rather just kind of try to avoid the uh, the stain anyway, or the uh, warping anyway. The other thing, reason I'm doing both sides is this is going to be for uh, one of my best sellers, which is a, uh, a little kind of lizard puzzle. And uh, you see both sides, since it's a puzzle, you're picking up the pieces and stuff. So, so now I'm just using one of these foam brushes. Move this off to the side here so I don't accidentally tip it over. And we're gonna put that on. Oh, look at that. Wow. Now it's gonna get a little weaker. Boy, that is gorgeous. That is gonna be beautiful. I love that yellow. All right, it's as easy as that. We're gonna flip it over and do the other side. Boy, I've got enough here, I bet, to do two boards because this is going on really well. Some colors I found uh, just take to the wood really well. Some, you need quite a bit more dye. That is really vibrant. I like that. So I use this also for uh, uh, earrings. You know, I love it because you really can see the wood grain coming through there, uh, but you get that bright, vibrant color. All right, let's check that other side. Now you can see why I wore an apron as well. Since this is such a thin uh, stain solution, uh, being just basically denatured alcohol, uh, it will splash around. So I'm gonna do another coat, just to make sure I got plenty of color on there. This is fantastic. Boy, I'm loving that, that yellow. Uh, I really, honestly, I thought I would need a lot more dye. That's why squoze, squoze, new words. That's why I squoze so much in there. Boy, that is vibrant. You know what, I've got enough dye here. I'm gonna do another one of these sheets. I've got enough for another sheet left in there. So I'm gonna do another one of those and we'll come back. The other cool thing is this will be dry in about 10 minutes. I'll be able to laser cut this in about 10 minutes. So uh, I'm gonna grab another sheet and then we'll come back. Okay, so uh, it's been almost exactly 10 minutes. This is dry to the touch. It's ready to go. Now I do wanna show you the difference here. So this is that first piece that I did. And this is the second piece that I grabbed up there. Now, I don't know how much that color difference is gonna show up here. You can see this is a little bit darker, not quite as vibrant as this one. And that has to do with, with the uh, substrate, you know, on this uh, 
Baltic birch. Sometimes you get uh, a really light colored panel like that one, and sometimes you get one that's a little more uh, tannish. And uh, so that darker one there is this tannish one. So it does make a little difference, obviously. Uh, you know, it's a see-through stain. So you can see that wood grain, which means you can also see a little bit of that wood color is gonna bleed through as well. So, but I, I think this is, both of them are great colors. I think they look gorgeous. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pieces that I'm going to use this for so that you can see uh, the finished product that I make with these, uh, or have uh, in mind for this particular panel here and where we're gonna use those pieces. I think you'll really like that. It's my best selling, one of my best selling uh, things that I make. So. Uh, we'll be back. I'll cut this. Should take about 15 minutes, uh, not even. And, uh, and then we'll come back and I'll show you uh, the pieces together as well as some uh, other dye colors that uh, and the results of those. So we'll be back in just a minute. Up there. Sorry. So I got my pieces cut out. This is the piece that we end up with. And uh, let me just see if I can place him. Looks like right there. So I tried to kind of make a pattern. So this is actually the end product that I end up with. And you can see that I just love how, how vibrant that, uh, that yellow is in this case. And you can also see uh, kind of how the darkness changes as we change it. And that's because the wood grain is catching the light in different ways. And I, I love that. I think it just makes it really unique looking puzzle. Uh, so what I used with this, this is the uh, Pinata brand, uh, alcohol inks, and I used the uh, Sun Bright Yellow. This is the uh, Santa Fe Red and Baja Blue are the three colors that I've done with that. So I've done this before in similar uh, stains with uh, Unicorn Spit, and I love Unicorn Spit. One thing with Unicorn Spit, it's a water-based uh, wood dye, or uh, water-based wood stain, I should say. And so you do need to top coat this. So, I'll, so what I'll do with that is I'll, I'll stain my piece. And then I use just a, uh, like a satin or a gloss lacquer, just a really light coat and uh, do that. Uh, but one thing I have to say is, is to me that some of the colors aren't quite as vibrant. So let's uh, pick on that yellow. So this one is the uh, unicorn spit. And this one is the uh, alcohol ink. And I think the alcohol ink is a lot more vibrant. Plus, I don't have to top coat it. Now, I haven't tried it, although it would be an excuse for a little alcohol. I haven't tried it to see whether uh, putting some alcohol on here will reactivate that dye. Uh, I do know for a fact, though, that if you don't top coat these uh, uh, unicorn spit guys, uh, if you don't top coat those, there's an orange there too then water will reactivate that and it'll bleed. So that's why I have to top coat this. So I'm really kind of liking that alcohol ink better. <clears throat> Pick up piece I dropped. I'm liking that alcohol ink better because it's one less step in the process. Uh, the colors are really nice and vibrant. Uh, I would say the red maybe isn't quite as, as dark. Uh, maybe I could do another layer of dye. Here is the unicorn spit red and there's the alcohol ink red. So maybe it's not quite as vibrant on some of those colors, but I still think it looks just it looks great to me. I really like it. Uh, I sell this. I package them in a box uh, that we make like so. Uh, basically, I do uh, three different cuttings. I've got these tiled together in a pattern. Uh, let me grab one of those. These are 12 by 12 uh, Baltic birch. And you can see I can get four of them on one of those sheets. So it's really affordable to make. Uh, and then I put one of each color inside the box here and it fits inside the box, which uh, engraved the, uh, just a, a little three piece guy there. I do usually uh, color code the bottom of the box with what colors are in there, uh, just so I can know that when I'm handing them out, you know, somebody orders one, I, oh, I want the red, orange, yellow. I can just look at the bottom of the box without opening the lid. Uh, it's one of my best sellers and it's a really, really great deal. I, I love it and I'm loving just how vibrant that yellow is. Uh, when I cut these, you could also, if you were, you know, smarter than I am, you could also have some room here to where you could put, you know, a couple earrings or uh, a key tag or anything like that. So you get really get maximum use out of your wood there. Uh, so there you go. Alcohol inks as a wood stain. Uh, I love it. The colors are great. They're, they seem to be really color fast. Uh, they're easy to apply. Super, you saw how easy that was to apply. They dry fast, which is a really nice thing too with the uh, 
Uh, unicorn spit, you do have to allow quite a bit of time for drying on that. Uh, whereas this stuff, it's ready to cut in 10 minutes. Uh, if you suspend it and uh, get that backside where it gets some air to it, put a fan on it, probably even quicker than 10 minutes. And uh, it's not the cheapest stuff, but I think uh, I got like a 10 color kit, it was about 30 bucks, and it lasts a long time. I'm a little bit goes a long way. Uh, I squirted quite a bit of this yellow in there, and I've still got more than half the bottle, and I've used this on other projects as well. So uh, anyway, there you have it. Go make some stuff and uh, uh, make some money. <laughs> have fun with it. Uh, anytime you're creating in the shop, it's always a good time to me, and that's uh, half the paycheck for me is just the, the time I was able to spend time creating and learning and, and learning a new process and, and all that sort of thing. So until next time, do good work, be well, and I'll see you down the road.